Hello all, Shoestring here. What we're going to do today is do a complete solar setup for you for right around $200. I'm going to show you all the components and a general idea of how you might want to set it up. So, we're going to start out with the solar panel. This is the Harbor Freight 100 watt solar panel that we're using. I like these because they do really well even when it's cloudy or shady, much better than other solar panels do. So this is the solar panel we'll be using as a part of our complete solar kit. We'll also be using this Harbor Freight sealed lead acid battery. This is a battery that takes no maintenance. It is 12 volt and 35 amp hour, and it comes from Harbor Freight. Now, something about these two. The battery and the solar panel is going to be your most expensive components. Harbor Freight frequently gives coupons for these. And if you go to the Harbor Freight website and sign up, they will send you coupons. So, since they do it so frequently and so many people do it, I'm going to show you what the coupon looks like and use that as the base of our price. So, the solar panel is $89.99 with the coupon. And this battery here is $59.99 with the coupon. I'll also have links to what their regular prices are. But you can get these at that price very, very often, which is why I'm mentioning it. You also want a solar power connection cable kit. Some of the items I'm using here today are part of that kit. And I'll have a link to all these in the description, by the way. We'll also be doing, and this is one from Walmart, not from Harbor Freight, is the Everstart 400 watt inverter. It's around $34, $35 right in there. And for a charge controller, we're going to be using the Harbor Freight 100 watt solar charge regulator. It's what they call it. It is a charge controller. And this one, by the way, I should have told you, is $19.99 normally. You can get coupons for it too. There are other ones that you can get cheaper. I've done several videos on less expensive ones, but I'm picking this one today because it is just so simple to use. Don't have to program it. Don't have to push any buttons. It just works. But remember, it's 100 watt. Do not do more than 100 watts through this. If you're going to do a solar panel or more than one solar panel that's more powerful than that, you want to do something else. Get a different type of charge controller. I picked this one, as I said, to be simple. And that's basically everything, all the components you need to make a complete solar kit. Yes, I've done inverter reviews for 200s and less. That probably cost a little less than this, but it won't do near as much as this 400 watt will. 400 watts will run about anything you need to run in a small system to recharge, run computers, do small electronics. Now, of course, it won't run a refrigerator, it won't run a freezer, it won't run your CPAP machine, and it won't do the air conditioner or heater. But most things for a small system, this works just right. And now I'm going to show you how we're going to put these components together. We're going to start with the inverter. Take the inverter, make sure it gets connected red to red, black to black. And then we are going to connect it to the battery. Turn it on. And as you can see, it comes on. Battery is 12.9. Doesn't show the load yet because we don't have it connected to anything. In here is where you simply put in your plug in your devices, a couple USBs. And that is just how easy this is. I did an entire video on how this functions. And uh, if you'd like to see that, I'll put down in the description 
a link to it. And that is simply how easy it is to make this work. Now we're going to talk about charging it. We're going to go ahead and turn this off, but we'll be back to it in a moment. Going to take the charge controller. Now, there's several ways to do this, and on these, please read everything. Battery, solar, load. I'm not going to use the load. I never use loads. It's just in the way for me. Okay, so here, what we're going to do is we're going to take these connectors that I got with the solar connector kit, which I have a link to in the description. Anyway, if you like these type of videos, they're helpful. Don't forget to subscribe. That helps the channel. And more people will see the information. Same thing. We're going to do black to black. And red to red. I know. I said it and did it backwards. Now we're going to connect it to the solar panels. There's a connection that goes to the solar panels that I showed you earlier. Plug it in. Nice and simple. Yellow means it's charging. When it turns green, it will be charged. And this is one of the reasons I picked this charge regulator is because it is so easy to use. Don't have to program it. Don't have to do anything to it, but plug it in. Remember, though, no more than 7 amps, a 100 uh, watts. Don't do any more than that. Now, real quickly, I'm going to show you another way to do this. We're going to unplug the solar. We're going to use another connector that comes from the solar kit. And we're going to plug it in in just a moment. I'm going to unattach these. And show you another way. Now, here's a little trick I like to do. I connect this side where it says battery. Then I take these connectors and I connect them to the battery with the inverter. You turn it this way, maybe easier for everyone to see. Take red. Them come over to black. The inverter comes on. Then we take the same way we did before, solar panel, plug it in. Now it's charging. So if you want to do it this way, during the day while the sun's shining and there's sunshine on your solar panel, you can use power battery power from the battery to the inverter and still keep your battery charged up depending on how much you're using. So you could charge devices, you could use your devices all plugged in successfully and the battery is still being charged. It's a little trick I like to do. I like to keep my batteries charged while I'm using them. How you want to do it is simply up to you. Tell me about your solar systems, how you have your solar set up. Put it down in the comments. If you have any questions about any of this, put it down in the comments as well. Remember to like and subscribe, share, and hit the little notification bell. Shoestring out.